What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Right, today we've got a bit of a starter kit, stroke, stealthy vape type pen kit type pod type uh, device for you. This one is from Artery Vapor and they kindly sent it over for review. It's called the PAL Stick. Uh, basically, it's much like the Artery PAL 2, which is this little fella here. The review is already on the channel for that and also for the new designs, which was the funky blue design, the one that I had. Basically, this is uh, uses the same cores, the HP cores, which uh, are here. We've got the 0.60 mesh or the 1.0 out lung cores. Anyway, so we've got top fit on this one and we've got a round drip tip. That are your major differences and the fact that this is long and thin and uh, tubular. So let's go down to the table, have a good look around this and the packaging talk about it and then we'll come back up top and i'll give you my thought right here we are then down at the table so we've got r three logo there the pal stick we've got a picture of the pal here we've got hp cores variable voltage 750 milliamp hour battery capacity 1.6 milliliter capacity right r three vapors website address is on there we've got pal stick written on that side you've got artery on that side arterivapor.com barcode We've got the red, it shows what color you've got there, pal stick, social media, and we've also got a QR code. On the back, we've just got a little caution for you and the usual sort of uh, garbage on the bottom. Right inside, we get a little fitting guide here, which we'll show you how to do that in a minute. You also get the user manual, you've got warranty terms and a uh, QC card there. So the dimensions are 18 by 119 millimeters. We've got an aluminium alloy and PT, PCTG, it's like a toughened uh, polycarbonate. We've got micro USB charge. Right, charging current of uh, 800 milliamp hours, um, milliamps I should say, three to 3.5 volts. The output voltage, 750 milliamp hour capacity and uh, 0.6 to 3 ohm core, 1.6 milliliter capacity, as we already said. But uh, yep, it's all in there in a few different languages for you. Right, inside, there's your firmware update, I should say a USB charging cable. I don't think you can update the firmware with this particular one, but what else we got in here? Do you get a little spare drip tip top cap thing? This is like all in one, this particular piece here we've got a couple of o-rings in there and we've got your spare hp core artery hp core there high performance core that means these are your wicking ports on the side here a couple of o-rings there there's your organic cotton which surrounds the core so make sure you prime this up with e-liquid thoroughly before you use make sure it's nice and saturated before you put it in there and uh, for anyone that thinks i'm reviewing out the box we have actually got the black one which i have been using right so here we go then this is what it looks like so we have got a little bit of a, a grip on the side there there's the, the air intake on the side here we'll show you that in a minute power stick logo on there arteries logo on the bottom uh, what we've got on the actual bottom there's the usb charging a couple of uh, holes for battery ventilation there fire button this whole unit just pulls out like that there's your contacts inside so there's a little window there so you can see like your juice in there, the juice level both sides right so this is like uh, just quarter of a turn that unlocks so there you go there, just a little bit of plastic. That just plugs in. So this is how you fill it. So you've got fill around the side, both sides there, not down the middle. That's where the airflow is. Plug it back in. It's one way and then you just turn it quarter. Right on the bottom, this is your adjustable airflow. 
So we've got it at the stop of there, that's completely shut. And then you can, if you want a loose mouth to lung or mouth to lung type vape, just put it really just a little slit and then you can increase it to have a proper direct to lung vape if you put it all the way that way. Right, unscrewing it to change the coil, just do that. Same one ohm as well. It looks like we're getting two one ohm coils with this. I've got a load of 0.6 ohm ones, which is why I've been using them because I think they're better coils. But uh, it looks like we're just coming with two one ohm coils with this particular one. So, easy as pie, it's just threaded on. So, prime it up, like I said earlier, screw that back up. Plug it all back together as tight as you can. Set your airflow. I like to have it about there. And plug it back in. Now, the airflow will actually work because, you, like I say, you've got this like, gaping hole on both sides anyway. But So it doesn't really matter how you put this in, but you're probably better off doing it so you can actually see through either side so you making sure you're getting the airflow through it but like I said it doesn't really matter even if you've got it slightly off because there, there is sort of room in there for the air to get through anyway right so this is the black one black and white so five clicks don't know whether I've gone off or on there you go so it flashes through the colors that must have turned it off. I have to turn it on. And there you go. We have got uh, vapor on this one. And we have got the three power levels again. So if you click it three times, changes it to red. I believe that's the lowest output. One, two, three. Right, blue. I think that's the highest output i'd have to look at the instructions i think it's something like 12.5 watts three again and then you've got the purple in fact let's just get the instructions out just to confirm that right so 3.5 volts is the blue light 3.3 .3 is the purple light and three volts is the red light so it depends how strong you uh, want it and uh, when you're vaping it uh, throughout the day so if you've got less than 30 percent it will be blown red 30 to 80 percent is purple and 80 to 100 is blue so if you find it getting a little bit weak you know what to do uh, plug it back in but you can cycle through the, the variable voltage, voltage by doing what i just did there so five clicks turns it off and that's it so let's go back up top and i'll tell you what i think about it right we are back up top with the pal stick kit from artery then right this is about the third take that i've had i've recorded it once and something happened with the audio second time the battery ran out in the bloody camera so third time lucky let's uh, get this one knocked out right now right here we go then build quality fit and finish right this is made from an aluminium alloy it's uh, very sturdy this one feels like it's solid as a rock really good we've got pc tg polycarbonate we've got glass tank with stainless steel and stays in there very nice you can wiggle this around that isn't coming out or anything so we've got a nice the polycarbonate very durable we've got the the, the, the cage basically protects that glass there so i don't think this is going to break even if you drop it i haven't dropped it yet but it just feels good in the end we've got a nice bit of grippy section on here the fire buttons are nice and responsive nice and clicky you can do your three clicks to change it between the cycles of red purple and blue for your different power wattages so that's awesome much like the pal 2 so that's very good indeed but yeah build quality fit and finish we've got no rough edges anywhere and it just feels solid and uh, yeah so top marks to r3 for that right i do like this the fact that it's top fill we can just twiddle that round take the top off and fill it up which is awesome we can also adjust the airflow and then you just plug it back in so it's very user friendly this one it's a uh, 
good that is. We've also got the PAL2 pod kit here because we are going to do a little taste comparison with it. But if you like uh, pen style kits with uh, round style drip tips, I think you might like this one. Although this is a hard plastic uh, because you can't change the, the 510 drip tip, it's, uh, it's all in one unit. Just find it a little bit hard, this one. So it's not the most comfortable in the world, but um, it's not too wide or anything. So you just get used to it. But I would have preferred if you could have just put your own 510 tip in it, but that's just a little niggle for me. Anyway, let's give it a little blast with it. Airflow fully open. And we've got it on the blue setting, which is the maximum wattage. I've got the 0.60 mesh cores with this. Uh, if you're interested, you can purchase those, the HP core mesh. You can also get the one ohm cores. Uh, my particular kit had two one ohm cores. I'm not sure if it's supposed to or not, but I prefer the 0.60 mesh by a long shot. So that's what we're using today. So here we go. Little drag on it. Airflow for the open. Right, as you can imagine, that's a super airy that vape, and the flavour isn't very good. But um, quite smooth though, but we'll put it on to about halfway now. Still quite smooth, you're still getting the um, the cloudage there but the flavor's still not there for, for me and it is quite a noisy vape as you can probably hear there right i'm going to put it to a very small amount open less than a millimeter and we're going to try to amount a long vape with this one i've got the 0.60 mesh call which is slightly a wider ball but uh, we'll give it a go For me, this particular call works best if you've got it about a millimeter and a half open. Millimeter and a half to two mil open. Just give it a go like that. Still a bit noisy, as you can see. Just put the airflow slightly down a little bit. That is the sweet spot for me, with the airflow in this position, round about there. Not sure if you can pick that up on the camera, but about a millimeter, just over a millimeter, open. Right, the flavor rating for this about seven point five to eight out of ten. So it's pretty decent, but it's not competing with the likes of a Merlin Nano Mountalung RTA or something like the the Rebirth RTA. Any sort of RTAs like this, this one's a direct to the other one's a mouth to I just prefer those for flavour. But if you like your pen style pod devices, it's got pretty decent flavour, this one. But we're just going to give you a little go on the PAL2 original now. Right, this one has got a 1000 milliamp hour battery. This one's got a 750 milliamp hour So battery life will be lasting longer with this one. I had no problems with this one. That's still quite a decent size, 750 milliamp hours uh, for a sort of pod system. So it's not too bad. You might have to charge it once in a day if you're using the 0.6 ohm core, but with the one ohm core, you should be getting the full day out of it. But anyway, the comparison with, with the flavor, I think it's definitely better with the, um, the Power 2, which is using exactly the same core and the same juice I've got in there, but I just think it gives a more full-bodied uh, sort of hit and a more intense flavor I'm getting from this kit. That being said, it's not a bad flavor with this, and uh, some people might not like the drip tip on this one because it is more of a flat style drip tip, whereas this is the circular style. So it's horses for courses, really, but I just think the flavor is delivered better with the original pod kit. But that is all very subjective, of course, and it's just my opinion. But um, all in all with this kit, though, I think um, 
they've done a pretty decent job of it. We got top fill on it. We got a tank for those that like tanks. It takes all of your R3 HP cores and the previous cores if you've still got those ones that aren't the HP cores knocking around. I think it's very durable. This one, it's easier to fill than the uh, how to kit and um, it's quite light, very sturdy in the hand. And I don't expect it's going to be that pricey either. I haven't seen the prices, but I think it's probably between 20 and 30 pounds, but I can guarantee it. But all in all, with this one, I would give it a thumbs up. I think it's a decent effort from R3, but if I already had the PAL 2, I'm not sure I would go out and buy this one. But if you like pen style vapes, you like top fill and all the rest of it, then it may be one for you. So if you enjoyed the review, guys, please give the video a little thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing too and uh, hit that little bell notification to be notified of all my latest videos. Now, the video will also be over on VapeTube, so drop us a little sub over there as well. It'll be greatly appreciated as ever and i've also got my own website which is mf8.co.uk and i'm also on social media all the links are below the video as ever so until next time guys thanks very much for watching and i'll catch you on the next one okay cheers